opening balances in Sage Accounting. In this video, we'll guide you through how to add your opening balances. Opening balances are important because they give a true reflection of your business finances when you start using Sage Accounting. You can enter opening balances for customers, suppliers, nominal ledger accounts, and bank accounts. You can enter them all at once when you first start using the software or later if necessary. For example, you may be waiting for information from a previous software or your accountant. You can start processing in Sage Accounting without adding opening balances. Preparation Steps Before entering your opening balances, there are some preparation steps to consider. First, set your account's start date. To do this, from the top menu bar, choose Settings, then Business Settings. In the Financial Settings section, click Accounting Dates and VAT. Your account's start date is in the Accounting Dates section. This is the date you want to start using Sage Accounting. We recommend you start using Sage Accounting at the start of a new accounting period. This could be at the start of a VAT month or quarter or at the start of your financial year. This ensures your VAT has been calculated correctly. By default, the opening balances are dated the day before the account's start date. For example, if you are starting to enter your transactions dated the 1st of April onwards, your opening balances must have a date of 31st of March or earlier. Enter or check your account's start date. Next, Check your VAT details to have been entered correctly here. The correct VAT scheme must be chosen here, as this will directly impact VAT returns. This must be correct before entering customer and supplier opening balances. For this demonstration, we'll use standard VAT. Once you are confident the information is entered correctly, click Save. Customer and Supplier Opening Balances Let's set up Customer and Supplier Opening Balances. Contact records should be created before entering opening balances. You'll also need a list of all outstanding transactions. For example, this could be unpaid invoices or credit notes. To access the Opening Balances area, click Settings and scroll to the Opening Balances section at the bottom of the page. For this demonstration, we'll set up Customer Opening Balances. However, the process for suppliers is the same. The account start date is confirmed at the top of the page and any existing opening balances are listed here. You can import Customer and Supplier Opening Balances or enter them individually. For more information and instructions on importing these, please visit our Help Centre and search for Import Opening Balances. To enter opening balances manually, one by one, click New Opening Balance. All mandatory boxes are marked with an asterisk. You can enter your opening balances as a single value or a list of individual transactions. For example, one customer may have several outstanding invoices. We'd recommend adding these as separate opening balances rather than a cumulative value so they can be matched with the corresponding bank payments later. If you are on a cash VAT scheme, they should be entered individually to ensure the VAT is accounted for correctly when you run your VAT return. Start by selecting the customer from the drop-down list. Then, enter the date of the invoice or credit note. Select the opening balance type here. You can choose invoice or credit note. Add a reference, for example, the original invoice number. If there's any additional information you'd like to record, add this to the details box. The outstanding invoice or credit note value should be entered into the total box. 
If your VAT scheme is a cash-based scheme, you'll have extra boxes to complete here. Completing the net, VAT rate, and VAT boxes ensures your VAT is calculated correctly on your next VAT return. If you're entering an opening balance for a customer or supplier using a different currency, additional boxes will appear. Enter the total value in the contacts currency, then add the exchange rate used for the original transaction. This may differ from the current exchange rate. Once you are happy with the information entered, click Save. The new opening balance appears on the list. To mark a customer or supplier opening balance as paid, create a bank receipt or bank payment as usual. Bank opening balances. Let's move on to bank account opening balances. Bank accounts should be created before entering opening balances. From business settings, click bank. Any existing opening balances will be listed here. To add a new opening balance, select the bank account from the drop-down list. If you have entered bank details when setting up the bank account, they will automatically appear here. Next, enter the date of the opening balance. This is usually your closing bank balance the day before you start using Sage Accounting. For example, if your account start date is the 1st of April, Enter your closing bank balance for the 31st of March. Any transactions that appear on your statement on or after the 1st of April, you'd enter them into Sage Accounting as a transaction, not an opening balance. Then choose whether the opening balance is a positive or overdrawn amount. Receipt, debit would be a positive bank opening balance, while the payment, credit would be an overdrawn balance. Enter the opening balance here. If this bank account is in a different currency, enter the exchange rate here. The opening balance in the relevant currency will automatically calculate. Once you are happy with the information entered, click Save. Bank opening balances can be amended later, if required, as long as they have not been bank reconciled. Nominal Ledger Opening Balances Nominal ledger opening balances are taken from your trial balance report. You can find this in your previous accounting software. Alternatively, your accountant can provide this. Your chart of accounts should be checked before entering opening balances. By default, the date is set to the day before your account's start date. Make sure you have a copy of your trial balance up to, and including the date entered here. The reference is mandatory. Enter a reference, such as nominal opening balances. Your nominal opening balances are simply a copy of your trial balance report. Therefore, everything you enter here should match your report. Please note that you can't enter the opening balances for trade debtors and trade creditors, as these are calculated automatically, based on the customer and supplier opening balances you enter. Don't enter bank opening balances here. Enter them in the bank section of opening balances. Once entered, these balances will appear automatically. As your trade debtor and creditor accounts are already entered, start from the next available line. Choose a ledger account from the drop-down, add, or amend the details if required, and enter the value from your trial balance in the debit or the credit column. Once you have entered all balances, the debit and credits column should be equal and the opening balances ledger account should be zero. For further information, access our help center by clicking help at the top of Sage Accounting. You can now confidently enter your opening balances in Sage Accounting.